Biopack was a pleasant surprise of an experience in the wild jungle of new information in which the class of developmental biology presents. As a class, we were taught how electrical signals make muscles move. <clears throat> but as an individual, I experienced so much more. Uh, as I was strapped up to the electric sensors on my scalp, I, uh, I realized that electricity comes from, you know, it's not just it's not just outside of the body, it's all around us, it's inside of us, it's crazy. Um, the biopic, the biopack was very interesting and a uh, very exhilarating new experience for me and I feel hopefully the uh, class around me as well. Thank you. We learned about the biology and fertilization of sea urchins. We experimented on short spine sea urchins by injecting them with potassium chloride which caused the gonophores to release their gametes. We then combined the eggs and sperms to create embryos. We also used parthenogenesis to create life without the sperm. Overall, it taught us about the biology and the process of phylogenesis in sea urchins. We worked on tiny marine prehistoric creatures called artemia, also known as sea monkeys. We learned that they are used to feed marine animals and test for water toxicity. We also learned how to measure in micrometers, which was difficult because they were small and <laughs> in bags. Our favorite part was knocking them out with ethanol, which some people found funny to watch. We enjoyed the class a bunch and would love to be able to learn more. For a practical application of embryology, we explored how chicken embryos function, grow, and react. Through studying gastrulation as a process which makes up the cells on the inside and outside of a structure, we mon monitored how the makeup of the embryo grew. By observing the heartbeat of the chicken embryo, we were able to observe how the heart rate reacts to different substances. Finally, we looked at the embryos under the, under the microscopes to see the development of the heart and blood vessels in their early stages. Tardigrades, also known as water bears, are one of the most indestructible organisms on the planet, except when you microwave them for 10 minutes, they won't come back to life. Um, the name water bear comes from their small claw-like appendages and their slow movement. They feed off algae and bacteria through a sucker-like disc with claws or with spines inside of them. Um, if conditions are not habitable, um, then their clear like structure will go into a hibernation like state, um, which will lower their metabolic rate. This is known as cryptobiosis. This is, this is when they turn into a raisin like structure called, this, called a ton, and they will stay in that state for many years until the more favorable conditions arise. Um, Finding the water bears under the microscope and in nature was a great experience for us that um, helped us look beyond the human eye. Thank you. Thank you. Embryology is the branch of biology and medicine concerned with the study of embryos and their development. In the developmental biology class, we used different living things such as chickens and sea urchins and studied their fertilization process. At Go Sci Tech, we examined the process of embryology under microscopes and saw the process of the embryo forming right in front of our eyes. We were introduced to how chickens had their eggs fertilized and how the embryo forms into a chick before hatching. Afterwards, we moved on to the more advanced topic of sea urchin embryos. The process of embryology is something that is studied greatly in modern biology and it helps us see how see life and how it is born. While we were doing our chicken embryos. Unfortunately, our friend Alfredo went to Disneyland without us. So we just want to say RIP to Alfredo. He will be missed. RIP Alfredo. <laughs>